Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest news. Russia to allow humanitarian corridors in Mariupol and Volnovka a euro. Live. Summary of headline article. 053 A Sky News crew has been evacuated back to the UK from Ukraine after journalists were shot during an ambush by a suspected Russian death squad. The team of five were attacked while out in a car after unsuccessfully trying to visit the town of Bucca near Kiev. Chief correspondent with Sky News, Stuart Ramsey, along with camera operator Richie Mockler, were shot. Ramsey in the lower back while Mokla took two rounds in his body armor. From Metro under the main headline of Shane Warne. Pioneer. Entertainer and cricket's greatest show on and off the pitch. Summary of headline article. Shane Warne's enduring legacy as a cricketer and a human being is perhaps best summed up by the Contrast of edge of fury competitor and off the field everyday lad who loved a laugh. Time and time again when the secret ingredients of his alchemy looked likely to be revealed to the world. Warren was able to bamboozle anew. Warren remained a menace with the ball even at the end of his career. Picture. P.A. Perhaps his greatest skill was not allowing the sideshow to distract from the main show. Darren Goff had enjoyed a similar opening act to his cricket career and the vultures were circling. More. Remembering Shane Warne and Rod Marsh. Australian cricket loses two great players. And even better blokes more. England and West Indies observe emotional minutes silence for Shane Warne after cricket legend. Dies for more stories like this. Check our sport page. From I News under the main headline of a Euro way a Euro re-clearing out any connection to dodgy rubles a Euro. How Putin's war reached into Westminster. Summary of headline article. Westminster has supposedly been on a war footing for weeks. But since the invasion of Ukraine actually started. Insiders admit that the UK government has been scrambling to keep up. But in better news for the Prime Minister, Ukraine has thoroughly knocked party gate off the front pages and silenced questions over his leadership. This crisis plays to his and the party's strengths. But the pollster warned that the Prime Minister was unlikely ever to reclaim the popularity he enjoyed before party gate erupted. Alongside economic credibility, National security was one of the biggest resets we needed after the Corbyn years, a senior party. Source said. From Huff Post under the main headline of how worried should we be after the nuclear power plant. Attack in Ukraine. Summary of headline article. A view shows a damaged administrative building of the Zaforizhzhia nuclear power plant. ENERGOATOM via via Reuters the plant. Home to six of Ukraine's 15 nuclear reactors. Was shelled repeatedly during an intense battle. Advertisement Zaforizhzhia nuclear plant is to the south of Ukraine. Where Russian troops have been advancing PA graphics via PA graphics press association images how. Much damage did the attack actually cause. Advertisement The head of the region's military administration, Oleksandr Staruk, confirmed early Friday morning. Nuclear safety is now guaranteed. Russian army is firing from all sides upon Zaforizhzhia NPP. The largest nuclear power plant in Europe. Volodymyr Zelensky said, No country other than Russia has ever fire on nuclear power units. From Mail Online under the main headline of Sky Reporter is shot and wounded in lower back by Russian squad. Summary of headline article. The danger journalists face covering the war in Ukraine was shockingly illustrated last night as 
Sky News released harrowing footage of their team coming under fire. Chief correspondent Stuart Ramsey was hit by a bullet in the lower back while in a car carrying his crew towards Kiev on Monday. Footage shows bullets striking the car and the team screaming as glass smashes around them. It is thought the attack was carried out by a saboteur Russian reconnaissance squad. The whole crew, including Sky News Dominique Van Heerden and Martin Vowles, are now safe and back in the UK. From Reuters under the main headline of Russian law on fake news, prompts media to halt reporting. As websites blocked. Summary of headline article. The Russian Defense Ministry said a broad offensive would continue in Ukraine. Ria said. Mikhailo Podolyak said the two sides envisaged a possible temporary ceasefire in some areas to allow evacuations of citizens. Russia is blocking Facebook for restricting state back channels and the websites of the BBC. Deutsche Welle and Voice of America. Ukraine's military said in a statement on Saturday that armed forces are fighting fiercely to liberate Ukrainian cities from Russian occupiers, counterattacking in some areas and disrupting communications. Read more Russian forces have made their biggest advances in the south, where they captured their first sizable Ukrainian city. Kherson. This week. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Ukraine invasion. Russia blocks access to Facebook for its 146 million citizens. Summary of headline article. RUSSIA has blocked access to Facebook for its 146 million citizens amid the Ukraine invasion. A state regulator has said. It comes a week after Russia limited access to Facebook after it refused to stop fact-checking and labeling content from state-owned organizations. Sir Nick Clegg, vice president of global affairs at Facebook's parent company Meta, said Russians have been silenced from speaking out since October 2020. 26 cases of discrimination against Russian media and information resources by Facebook have been recorded. The move against Facebook also follows blocks imposed on broadcasters including the BBC. The US government-funded Voice of America and Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty. According to App. From Sky News under the main headline of Cheltenham. Man due in court on suspicion of murder after bodies of his parents found 15 miles apart. Summary of headline article. A man suspected of stabbing his parents to death is due to appear in court on Saturday. The 40-year-old is being held in police custody ahead of his appearance at Cheltenham Magistrates. Court. Later that day. Valerie Warrington's body was discovered at an address in the village of Burton on the water. About 15 miles away, their family have thanked well wishes for the outpouring of love and support they had received. Following their deaths, we thank everyone for their messages of love and support, which are of great comfort to us. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Woman in Her 80s Dies After Helicopter Lands at Hospital. Summary of headline article. A woman in her 80s has died after an incident involving a Coast Guard helicopter landing at a hospital. Devon and Cornwall police said two members of the public are thought to have been injured as the Helicopter landed at a helipad at Derryford Hospital in Plymouth on Friday. One person is being treated for their injuries and remains in hospital. While the second, a local woman in her ATS, has since died. Devon and Cornwall police said on Twitter. One person has died and another remains in hospital following an incident that has taken place. Today on the grounds of Derryford Hospital. Involving a HIM Coast Guard helicopter. An initial investigation is being conducted by Devon and Cornwall Police. A department for. 
Transport spokesperson said, Our deepest sympathies go out to those affected by the incident at Derryford Hospital. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Heartbreaking Moment Baby Carried from Rubble as Russian Shells Pummel City. Summary of headline article. Vladimir Putin, S troops are attacking Ukrainian cities with ever more shelling and as tanks move. In the scenes of devastation are being beamed around the world with buildings raised to the ground. Image. AFP via Getty Images. AFP via Getty Images. There are many other terrible images from the assault on the town while the pictures have been echoed from other cities around Ukraine. Image. AFP via Getty Images. AFP via Getty Images. The southeastern port city of Mariupol, a key prize for the Russian forces, has been encircled and shelled. Image. AFP via Getty Images. AFP via Getty Images. More EU sanctions are coming. Potentially including a ban on Russian flagged ships in European ports and blocking imports of steel, timber, aluminium or coal, said Irish Foreign Minister Simon Coveney. Image. Getty Images. Getty Images. Russian forces have made their biggest advances in the south, where they captured their first sizable Ukrainian city, Kherson, this week. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.